the first thing I want to talk about is Eliza Blue drama because <laughs> it, we hit a new, I mean, I got to tell you, last night, Tim Pool, I'm absolutely convinced that Tim Pool is a, a like a legitimate narcissist now because last night Tim Pool dropped a fucking bomb that hit absolutely everyone involved in this situation. First of all, his audience has been super chatting him in probably tens of thousands of dollars for the last week saying, "Tim, why aren't you covering the story? Why aren't you covering the story? Why aren't you covering the story?" And Tim quite literally, I'm not exaggerating, he told his audience to fuck off he was like people were chatting and being like i'm gonna cancel my membership if you don't cover this story and he was like get the fuck out of my community that's a, like almost a re like it's something like i would do when i get really pissed off tim is even like but i'm fiery i'm allowed to do this shit like tim doesn't usually do that that was pretty great and then he called eliza blue a two-bit note like like low-level grifter who was just trying to make herself famous he said that this was clearly an op where Eliza has hired like a reputation management company in order to create this internet controversy to basically make her famous and like make her a household name and get her trending everywhere. And that's why he refused to cover it because he thought it was like a PR stunt, which I definitely want to psychic that. And then huh. he went after like every single person that's been streaming about this and was just complaining like they're buying into this PR stunt. Like it was, it was fucking beautiful. Every single person that's involved in this at every single level tim pool just dropped a bomb on it was like fuck you <laughs> so what's tim's glitch what's his issue with elijah blue i don't well i mean that's a good question that we might actually psyche because she's been on his show twice and it, it looked to me like they had like a decent relationship but i mean tim basically said like i'm not her friend i don't even think she's that important he said that she's never done anything which is like provably not true and it's just like i have so many questions about this can we like maybe can we can we see like i don't know what's a good question to ask um what like what was Tim's state of mind last night in regard to this entire situation? Is that a good place to start? Yeah, I'm surprised like he would let this get him so fired up. Well, I think that all people... the issues he's dealt with, Elijah I... Blue, why? I think that his audience has really been on his ass because all of these internet fucking grifters have been making video after. I mean, we're talking like some of these people have made dozens of videos about this situation in the last week. They've done many, 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 many more hours of streaming than I have about this. Like, I mean, we're talking like significant amounts of time of streaming all these videos. They're all riling up Tim's audience. And then Tim's audience is going to him and being like, cover it, Tim, cover it, Tim. We're going to cancel if you don't cover it, Tim. And it's just like, I think it just came to a head where he was like, fuck all of you <laughs> okay so you should we should look at what was tim's state of state state of mind um last night when talking a lot about elijah blue is that correct yes what was tim's state of mind last night when talking about eliza blue say when Stop. Hmm. I think he was trying to be practical. <clears throat> Maybe he knew this was like a hot story. It would get him a lot of views, a lot of controversy perhaps, right? Mm -hmm. So he seemed to be, believe it or not, grounded. Um, with Eight of Cups, it seems like he's moving away from something. So maybe it's the emotion of him moving away from some other area of his life that was added to this. But it was like a, a letting go thing. And really, um, with the Justice card, I think it was just looking for fairness and to make things equitable. So it doesn't look like he was, you know, we're not seeing like Tower, Ten of Swords, or Nine of Swords. I don't think he was very distraught. So it was all a plan. I think he with planned it. Articles, yeah, absolutely. He, he fucking planned it. All right. But walking away is interesting. Like, I feel like he was walking away from something. So I don't know if what he was walking away from since he claims to not really have any relationship with Elijah Blue in the first place, right? Yeah. I mean, he basically said she's a low level two bit grifter, which I actually thought right. was really mean, honestly. 
and completely unfair. So yeah. I want to I want to look at one of the accusations that he made specifically. He said that mm -hmm. um, basically he thinks that this is some sort of like organized campaign run by a reputation management company <laughs> in order to create this fake controversy to get everyone talking about Eliza Blue to, really? to basically make her famous. And I was like, I love That's it. Well, I mean, like, I, you know what, if, if that actually happened, more power to her, I guess. Yeah, but it's absolutely. also like, I don't know why she would choose this particular strategy, because it seems to undermine every single thing that she's tried to do. Right. And so, like, it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't buy into it. But you know what? With Blair White doing that hit video today that she did, which was really, really bad. I'm honestly thinking of doing a whole breakdown of how many lies Blair White told in that video, because it was really bad. I was kind of like, is this a PR campaign? Is Blair White getting paid to say this? I don't know because it just doesn't make any sense otherwise. It was just a total grift move. Interesting. So, so are you suggesting that Blair White and Elijah Blue are in cahoots? No, no, no. I'm suggesting that someone paid Blair White or like encouraged her to make a negative video about Eliza Blue for the purpose of creating controversy. To benefit Elijah Blue? Yes, to benefit her. Okay, so like they're in cahoots, but not communicating uh, it's kind of like what i wh how i perceive it is these influencers that are making all these videos are kind of like useful idiots they like they don't really understand what's going on because none of them are really that smart there's not a single smart influencer that's been like wading into this whole thing so far as i've seen like they're really dumb and um and so i think they're kind of like being used and they don't realize they're being used Makes sense. Okay. If Fair if enough. this PR campaign thing is real, but that's what I want to know. Like, is there is there a reputation management company of some sort involved in this entire affair? Like a PR firm, reputation management, stuff along those lines, right? Yeah. So around Elijah Blue, I mean, did she hire one, right? Yeah. And say when, please. Stop. Love, two of pentacles. I I, it's a gray area, right? Because you could hire a PR firm, but not necessarily is anything duplicitous going through, going on. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have the money, you want to get to that next level hire a PR firm, but you're not necessarily in control of what they're doing. Right. This would suggest that she is working with other people. Okay, we got two of cups. Mm -hmm. We have a balance, right? So I think that I, I, I wouldn't be, I would be very surprised if she didn't have like a PR firm that she has hired. Very surprised. Um, especially because we have the higher fan here. But I do not necessarily think that that means she's, you know, uh, lying or grifting or doing anything that might be I feel like it's just keeping up with the Joneses and I feel like other people might do this too. So I don't think it's nefarious if that makes sense. I think there's a balance there. I think that she probably has a PR firm or a um, reputation management company that she is working with, but I don't think that it's that bad if that makes sense. Can we look at like, is it, did they, is there a way to psychic, like did they orchestrate this whole thing as like, did they orchestrate her canceling for lack of oh. a better term? I see. Okay. Does that make sense? <clears throat> yep. Did they orchestrate? And say when, please. Stop. Let's see. I definitely think that <clears throat> there was definitely communications involved. Okay. With Tim is cups. right. Holy shit. You got two of cups. So with, with two, well, he's a Pisces. They're very psychic. They're very intuitive, right? You mm -hmm. get two of cups and this is the second time it's come up. So I feel like she's definitely communicating with somebody to help her transition to that next level. And with the hermit, it's like, you know, completing a cycle. So I, I think it's possible it could have gone sideways, but I feel like she's definitely talking to people and definitely, I mean, Six of Swords is a, uh, a mental card. It is about communications and it is about transition. 
So um, I, I would say with Two of Cups that it's highly likely that um, this was done in some way to, it could have also gone sideways, right? Who knows? This could have happened during Mars or Mercury or Uranus retrograde, and it blew up in a way that they weren't expecting. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, like, it's kind of like they thought it was maybe going to be like a little trickle of information and then the fucking dam broke and they were like, holy, the things escalated quickly. Yeah. I mean, have you ever, like, it's almost analogous to creating a fake fight with somebody and then it actually becomes real. Yeah. Yeah. I can you see know that. I mean? You've done that mm-hmm. before? Have you ever done that? Like, no, a- I have. I have never, regardless of the lies that Mike Harlow wants to tell on the internet, <laughs> I have never created a fake fight with someone. If I've ever said something about someone, I 100% mean it in the moment that I say it. There is no underpinning. There is no ulterior motive. Like, I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I think some people that do do those fake fights for, like, either a decoy or extra attention, sometimes they actually become real. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? People get into their roles, even though they're like, oh, no, we're it's just a game. Not really. It, doesn't, it, turns, it turns sideways. I think that that's probably what happened. Like their plans during Mercury or Mars retrograde and Uranus retrograde probably didn't All pan right. out the way they had expected. Well, I guess the last question I want to ask on, well, I want to ask a question for Tim and I want to ask a question for Eliza because I don't care about any of the grifters making these videos about her. I think that they're all fucking stupid. Um, I guess like how is, I want to ask how Tim is going to come out of this situation. Is it going to hurt him at all? And I want to ask how Eliza is going to come out of this whole situation. So will this situation and how Tim Pool handled it last night hurt him or help him? I guess. I don't know. I like that. <clears throat> so how will Tim be affected with how he handled the Elijah pool? Elijah, what's her name? Elijah Blue. Elijah Blue. Eliza with a Z. Eliza. Eliza. Not to be confused with Elijah Schaefer, which I've been doing all fucking week. Oh, okay. Z. Don't forget Z. the Z. Z, right? Z. Eliza. Eliza. <laughs> Let's see. So how's Tim going to fare out of this, right? How, how- how's Tim going to come out of the Elijah Blue scenario how, right how will tim fare coming out of the eliza blue scenario and say when please stop feels kind of good to be honest yeah i think he's gonna be just fine that's what i, I said i think like, tim is like the big winner in this entire thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I, I fucking said it last night tim wins again masterful move timmy the thing is that with the hangman, things are not as they appear. So he might come across right now initially as a bully, right? Mm-hmm. But then we get the Empress. It's going to come out, isn't it? Ten of Wands. Ten it's going to it's going to fucking come out, isn't it? That he was right. Yeah. It, later wow. on, he is very, very, very intelligent and highly intuitive. He, he I, I feel like the thing is that you got to remember Pisces lose themselves in their work and when you're in a zone you you get a lot of information because you're allowing your 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 subconscious to flow so just by virtue of working as many hours as he does he probably gets really really intuitive just like any one of us if we were in the zone for like hours upon hours a day it is very likely we, we would become more psychic and more intuitive because we're not in our minds right we're in that creative relaxation flow fascinating yeah. Well, like I said, I thought Tim's move last night was masterful. I said it from the very beginning. I, I said mm-hmm. he's going to absolutely come out on top of this one. Tim is the big winner in this entire situation. And I don't have to like him to say that. And I, I think I've been going to be proven right. Yeah. It Which means really I good. win too. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I well, love let's, it. Well, let's ask Great. about Eliza now. How is okay. Eliza going to fare in this entire coming out of this situation? Let's see, Eliza, Eliza. Let's clear Tim out of here. I feel like she's had better days. I can't imagine, man. Like <laughs> this has been going on for a really long. I was canceled for like three weeks by those wedded entertainers. It takes a toll. It does. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, so how will Eliza Blue fare in this whole fiasco? How will Eliza Blue fare in this whole fiasco? Say when, please. Stop. 
stop. Hmm. So interesting. No, oh, she's going to be fine too. Merry Christmas. I, I, I said that last night too. I was like, either Eliza's going to win coming out of this or it's going to be a wash. Everybody's fine. Um, I think that she's going to, I mean, this is the six of cups, which pertains to like innocence, right? Um, or it could be like a good turn for another, but I think that she might come across as innocent. So I don't know how this, if this does conflict with what we said would be going on in terms of Tim or what. It doesn't though, because Tim has a reporter that's doing a like really long article about this. That's like <laughs> longer than my book long. And like the, he's already released part one. It was highly favorable to her. And I think part two is going to be the same. Got it. She also has a team. Like, I, I feel like it, what I get around her is that she's always had this like latent businesswoman within her. And just like recently, she's like, oh, wow, I get to express this aspect of my personality. Oh, she has a nice. team. I think so. I think she has a team. And then, you know. Oh, God, she's going to be fine, isn't she? She's going to be fine. I feel like it's. You know, there's enough for everybody in the sense that, like, Tim's fans who like Tim that don't like her, well, that's great for Tim. And her fans who like her and don't pay any attention to Tim, that's good for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think everybody's going to come out of this smelling like roses, which I think is great. Right? Good. Wins for everyone. Wins, Wins for, for everyone. everyone. Yay. Presents galore. 